Chris Brown's uh, depiction of Jesus' uh, parable of the midnight visitor uh, is intriguing. Uh, a man uh, knocks on his neighbor's door at midnight. I had company come in. I need to borrow uh, some bread for breakfast in the morning. And as the, the story is told, uh, the head of the household grumbles grousily and says, I'm in bed, uh, the door's locked, go away. And yet the friend keeps saying, please, please, I, I need to uh, have some bread. And uh, when I read the parable, the uh, householder doesn't look this nice. I think Chris made him look a lot nicer. Now, the strangest thing is uh, this parable is in the 11th chapter of Luke, where of all things, Jesus is talking about prayer. What has this got to do with prayer? Uh, beginning of chapter 11, uh, Jesus' disciples go to uh, Jesus and say, life's hard, it's complicated, teach us how to pray. John taught his disciples how to pray, teach us how to pray. And if you happen to, to have read the verses right before this parable in your preparation and your study, for uh, this lesson. Right before this parable is Jesus teaching his disciples to pray by giving them the Lord's Prayer. And then right on the heels of it, this uh, parable of the, the midnight visitor asking to borrow some bread. The whole context there, uh, says Luke and the commentators, is Jesus is talking to people about persistence in prayer, not giving up. And the, the nice guy, grouchy guy, owner of the house in the parable, it's really kind of funny, I think there's a little humor here, uh, is really not an example of God, but kind of an anti-example of God. Uh, the point is, if this cranky guy will give this uh, sort of rude neighbor what he asks for. Can't you imagine how much more God wants to give you the help you need for your life uh, than this? The, the message here from Jesus is when, when you experience the hardships of your life, when you, you wonder what's going on, uh, just count on God to be on your side. God is not in the swirl of life to make your life harder. Life is that love, that mystery, uh, that presence, that grace of God that somehow gives us strength on our own. We don't have it. It enables us to kind of keep on when we'd otherwise give up, be able to forgive, uh, when we're not able to be forgiving with each other. And uh, it not only makes me think about how I am when somebody wakes me up in the middle of the night, it also makes me think about what I'm like when I wake up in the morning. You know the old story about some people wake up and say, Oh God, it's morning! And other people wake up and say, Oh God, it's morning. Uh, do we live our lives? We wake up each day thinking this is going to be a terrible day. I'm not going to have enough to make it through this day. Or somehow with God's love and grace, God's going to be in this thing with me. And with God's help, I can, I can love when it's hard to love. I can go on when it's hard to go on. And uh, that just makes all the difference. I don't mean everything's going to come out perfect, but it means we're going to have uh, God on our side, not God against us. And uh, to wake up with that kind of hope makes it worth getting out of bed in the morning.